started coming to Washington Square Park, I say around 88, 89. The 80s and 90s, it was like Mad Max. You had crack, you had AIDS, still got them. But this is almost like the apex in a way, you know? I mean, who wanted to live here? No one wanted to live here. Everybody was taking their families out of here in the 60s and 70s. And New York City at the time, no one really gave a fuck what you was doing, you know what I mean? And especially me, they didn't really give a fuck about me anyway. It is what it is. But case in point, that gave me the space <laughs> to find myself. Yeah. That was the duty of the skateboard. We would come to watch the guys jump over the cans and all the older guys before us, we would come to see them skate. And then once the skate shop closed, we didn't have that communal meeting ground anymore, that home. So then we came to the park. The cool thing about skateboarding is it's not a team sport. You don't get written up in the books for the assist. If you don't ollie the board, you didn't ollie over the board. If you didn't slide the bench, you didn't complete the slide, which is also metaphorically a reference for overcoming an experience, especially like a, for me, like a traumatic experience. By me doing the trick, that gave me the blueprint as to how to deal with think, situations at home or situations in my community which caused distress to me. So it was kind of deep, man. It was a community. It was a family. Today, it's, it's much more homogenized. There's no room to get dirty. Back then, it was real dirty. I miss that. It was way more open. It's, it's definitely more barricaded now. It's more of like this, this, this incentive to like stay out, you know? Look, but don't touch. Like a museum. It's like, this, it's like a big fucking museum, you know? This whole park, even though that it's been reconstructed, it still triggers memories. And what triggers the memories is the energy and the experiences that I've had. Those are timeless. What makes New York special, even though it's went through this gentrified transformation, you, the energy here is explosive. What you do with the energy, how it affects your consciousness, that's the experience. But that doesn't take away that this place is always going to attract people. People are always going to want to come in. Places like certain pyramids in Peru or Easter Island, the geoelectromagnetic energy in those spots are super highly concentrated. We know this as a geological fact. New York City is one of those places. And that's what makes it special. That's what makes the 90s special. That's what makes any era that happened here that had a profound effect on the shift in global consciousness, but also in society. It's always gonna be based on that. Places where the energy is super intense, that's just how it is.